have a big investment in the recovery bill, but also uh, more we need to do for increasing efficiency, whether it's a so-called uh, cash for crockers uh, rebate, expanding uh, clean energy investment. We know that when you do that, you're not only protecting the environment, diversing, diversifying our sources of energy, you're also creating a heck of a lot of jobs in the meantime. Uh, and I should note at the top what the recovery bill did, uh, 3.2 billion nationwide for energy efficiency and conservation block grants, and over 100 million for state energy, our state energy program in Pennsylvania. Let's go to the next one, which is just kind of long term, what we, should, what we have to do. Because a lot of people forget the recovery bill was the Recovery and Reinvestment Act. And I think it, it, it signaled to us that we can't just get the, I'll, I'll use this very simple analogy because I'm not an economist, get the car out of the ditch, but even as the car is moving down the road, so to speak, and we're, the economy's growing, we're able to say we're, we're not just recovered, but we're, we're expanding. We can't allow the car to go back into the ditch because we didn't make uh, longer term investments like Franklin uh, Education and Workforce, We'll be dealing with the workforce uh, issues this year in the Senate. Uh, financial regulation, which has got a lot of attention, but we need to come to conclusions on that. Uh, deficit reduction, which President Clinton taught us really has uh, uh, an impact on our economy. And uh, stabilizing uh, the housing market. That's just a short list of things that we have to do uh, long term. One of those is passing health care bill. Uh, the worst thing we could do is say well, we, we recovered and we're moving our economy down the road, so to speak, but it falls back into the ditch a couple of years from now because we didn't do the job on, on, on getting the health care bill done. And I think that's the last slide, right? Yeah. yeah. Let me just run back up and uh, see if there's anything else we missed here. Thanks. Uh, just some some quick uh, some quick updates here on, on what happened the last couple of days. Uh, we had yesterday, I just wanted to go through a, a quick uh, uh, release that went on yesterday. As many of you know, uh, yesterday our our Secretary of Labor, uh, Hilda Solis, released, uh, uh, or I should say the Department of Labor, and she was announcing it, awarded $147 million for the Pathways Out of Poverty uh, strategy. The funding uh, is contained in the recovery bill, and that's why I thought it was relevant to this discussion, and seeks to re-employ individuals affected by the uh, economic downturn into energy efficient and renewable energy industries. Very, very important. Senator Spector and I were, were uh, talking about that yesterday in a news release. We'll, I won't go through all of it, but uh, the following groups and organizations were awarded funding Pennsylvania, $4 million for the Lehigh Valley Workforce Investment Board in Allentown. We worked on that applause earlier. We got that ready for you. Uh, $3.1 million for Community College of Philadelphia for uh, entry level green collar training programs. Uh, two, a little more than $2.7 million for the Private Industry Council of Westmoreland Fayette, Inc., uh, in, actually in, in, located in Greensburg in Westmoreland County. Uh, uh, a little more than a, uh, a million dollars for STRIVE, S-T-R-I-V-E, in, in Philadelphia. The funding will help train and prepare individuals for careers in green construction, solar installation, energy audits, weatherization, and lead abatement. And finally, uh, a million dollars for uh, uh, jobs for the future in Philadelphia partnership, partnership with the AFL-CIO, you know some of them, some of those folks here. Working for uh, American Institute, this project will deliver expanded education, training, job placement, and retention services. Good news there, very good news. I mentioned the, uh, the tax credit ideas. Uh, and also, let, let me just highlight something about healthcare that I wanted to, uh, to highlight, because I think it's, it's relevant to, uh, and don't worry, this is my last point, we'll, we'll go to questions. But I think it's, it's relevant to both uh, what happens on recovery, and also what happens with regard to uh, uh, the health care debate. Good news, yesterday, not just on progress on health care, but progress in particular as it relates to the, uh, the debate that uh, uh, leaders and members of organized labor have with the president and Democrats about so-called higher cost insurance plans. They reached an agreement, thank goodness. 
and it, from what I can tell, from what I know, of it being uh, briefed a bit on it and also reading about it, it um, it sounds like there's a good agreement that it's not it's not uh, one where sometimes agreements in Washington is they sound good when they're first announced and then they start to and they start to unravel. This sounds uh, like it's a pretty strong agreement. We'll see though. We'll see when we go back. We'll talk to uh, uh, a lot of our, our labor friends and, and folks in. Uh, uh, in the Congress and in the administration and see if it's as, as stable as it, 